What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the wood shop. All right, you might have seen it a few weeks ago. I posted a short when we purchased this DeWalt 20 volt max 18 gauge brad nailer. Now that we've had it for a few weeks, I've spent some time working and doing some finish work with it. It's time to give this thing a full review. Come check it out. All right, so I've been looking at the cordless nailers for quite some time now. We've been seeing some cordless nailers come on the market over the last five years. And to be honest, I had messed around with one years ago that was really slow. It had a long wind up time. And to me, it just didn't seem efficient enough to go cordless with it. Well, I've been having friends tell me how great their cordless nailers are, using them as brad nailers, as staplers, and even up to stuff like roofing nailers, siding nailers, and framing nailers going cordless. So I figured it was time to hop on the train. One of the things that we do a lot of here at Schooner Creek Designs that's out of the wood shop is finished carpentry. Uh, you guys might have seen some videos that we've been posting of the restaurant build we did upstairs. We're working on our retail store right now as well. And we're doing a lot of trim, window trim, window casing, door casing, baseboards, finish work of all different kinds. And so I was really interested in getting an 18 gauge brad nailer. Obviously, as you can see in a bunch of our other videos, we have a several different uh, pneumatic nailers from 23 gauge all the way through our framing nailers and just about everything in between. The 18 gauge is something I've been really wanting because it's a great middle ground for doing a lot of the stuff we do without having to set up the air compressor. This DeWalt 20 volt max was a no brainer for us because we already have a ton of DeWalt batteries with our other DeWalt hand tools. So going with this was a pretty easy pick. I actually got it at our local Ace Hardware. I think it was $2.99 with the tool only, which isn't a problem because I have a bunch of batteries already. The actual part number for the nailer is DCN680. So if you guys wanna type that into your Google search to look for one of these, that is the part number you're looking for. The 18 gauge Brad nailer is obviously right off the bat, it looks like a pneumatic nailer, it's just quite a bit larger. You can see just by holding up the Senko 18 gauge Brad nailer that the DeWalt cordless nailer is obviously significantly larger. It also is quite a bit heavier, weighing in at just about six pounds without a battery and without nails. So it definitely feels heavy in the hand. However, if you don't have to lug around an air compressor, it makes a large difference on a bunch of different job sites, specifically if you're going up sets of stairs, having to unload a ways away from the project, and just generally not having more equipment in the truck or in the trailer. Let's take a quick second and just run over the features of this 18 gauge nailer itself, and let's put it to the test. Just like you would be used to doing just about every adjustability on your pneumatic nailer, the cordless nailer also offers those options. You have the flip up top compartment that would be able to clear jams or nail uh, misfires if you needed to. It snaps and opens just like a pneumatic nailer does. Down below on the inside of the handle, you have the adjusting switch between multi-shot and single shot. When you press the button, a couple of these lights illuminate to kind of just shine on whatever location you're actually trying to nail, which is actually really nice. I found in that short, I was working on that staircase skirt into my basement and it's pretty dark down there. Having that light uh, shine on where you're nailing was actually really handy. On the other side here, you just have a standard belt clip, which I actually really like on these. I, I find that I'll put either the pneumatic nailer with its belt hook or any other tool, either on my tool vest, hooking on the side of one of my tool bags, or even in my belt if I'm not running with tool bags. So I really like having that feature. And then obviously down below, you have the connection of where your battery goes. I'm running one of the uh, 20 volt max, five amp hour larger batteries. Um, we have a bunch of the large batteries just so you have a longer battery life. Right here, you have your standard nail magazine. It runs a standard size nail for 18 gauge brad nails, going between a 5 8 inch nail and two and an eighth inch. 
On this side right here, right by the end of the gun, you have the adjustability of depth of how you're setting your nail. I have it kind of just set right in the middle to get a good sink on the head of the nail so I can spackle over it when we're doing the finish work. And it seems to be working pretty good on the trim that I've been putting up with it. All right, so let's run this nailer through a few tests. I got some inch and three quarter Senko 18 gauge Brad's nails, which is really what I use a lot of the time for my finish work. That allows you to get through a three quarter inch piece of trim, through sheetrock and into a stud. And we have a few different thicknesses of plywood that we're just gonna look at the penetration and how quickly it shoots through these pieces, as well as go through the single shot and rapid fire modes of the nailer. And just so you can guys get an idea if you haven't messed around with one of these, what this will actually work like if you were to make the purchase. All right, we have the nailer set on the single shot mode. And you can tell right when you touch the safety to the wood, that motor winds up so you're able to take a shot right away. It's actually pretty quick and I was surprised about how fast you're able to take those shots. Again, that is set in the single shot mode. We'll switch it over to multi-shot. And as you can see, there's almost no delay in that multi-shot to kind of be able to run and gun like you would with a pneumatic nailer, keeping that safety pressed into the wood. And it's obviously easy to see that there was no problem with straight and even penetration with those inch and three quarter nails going through this half inch plywood. Let's step it up to three quarter inch plywood and see if we can get the same results. All right, we've got the three quarter inch plywood and we're just gonna stay on that multi-shot and try to run some nails right along this front edge so you can see it work the way it's supposed to. So right there, I have the nailer set, like I had mentioned earlier, halfway in the depth setter. And you can see the first few nails up on top are set properly. But as I continue through the, less, the rest of that line of nails, they start sitting a little bit higher and higher on the material. Again, that's in the multi-shot version. They're still making it all the way through the piece of material and penetrating in a straight fashion and not deflecting anyway through this three quarter inch sheet good right here. All right, now I just put a solid one inch piece of white oak up here on the blocks and let's see if we get a similar result or if it's gonna give us a bunch of resistance. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I have not used this brad nailer on a hardwood like white oak yet. I've only used it with basically pre-primed pine trim and some natural vertical grain fir trim. So to be able to get those things straight through on some white oak, even in the rapid fire mode, is pretty impressive. As you can see, there's a fair bit of tear out on this back edge where the nails blasted through. And that doesn't really happen with a pneumatic nailer, but it sure can, depending on the grain pattern and what you're shooting it into. Again, this was not against a flat surface. So I'm guessing if this was flat against a wall or you were nailing it to another piece of wood, you probably wouldn't deal with that much tear out. Regardless, I'm pretty darn impressed with it making it all the way through this one inch thick white oak pretty effortlessly and in that rapid fire mode. All right, now that we're pushing the limits of this thing, let's continue to push it even further. This is just an end off cut of a portion of one of those big box store butcher block countertop pieces. We had used a portion of this up in the restaurant uh, upstairs, and I'm actually really curious if this inch and three quarter nail will make it all the way through here. Right here, you can obviously see it's just about an inch and a half thick. So the inch and three quarter nail just penetrates about a quarter of an inch. So this is a lot of material to go through. Let's see what we got. Well, there you have it. Again, I'm pretty darn impressed with that making it all the way through this material. I believe this is what they call rubber wood, um, but the density is pretty similar to oak, at least it feels like it. And so, you know, again, you have a little bit of tear out, but all of these nails made it all the way through this entire block of wood. 
As you can see, these few tests, even just the few that we've just done, are far more strenuous than the majority of homeowners and DIYers that would be taking a look at this cordless nailer. I think honestly, if you are interested in doing home renovations, doing your own finish work, you don't wanna purchase an air compressor, you don't wanna buy several different pneumatic nailers, and you just wanna go with one thing that'll get your finish work going, you guys absolutely consider the DeWalt nailer or a comparable brand. Again, we are not sponsored by DeWalt, and so I, I just purchased DeWalt because we already have a bunch of their batteries. Um, I've been really generally impressed with how fast and how well this thing works. And to be honest, I was looking on YouTube just for some review videos and I had seen some really high profile, in-depth reviews of just the mechanics of everything, but it wasn't a lot of tests about how it works. So I wanted to put it to the test to you guys so you could see, hey, is this a viable option for what I'm trying to do? Like I said, overall, I'm really pleased with this nailer. A couple of things that I've noticed that are a bit questionable if you're actually a professional and you do finish work uh, full time and, and for you know your career. Um, I noticed that when we were trying to toenail pieces of wood, which means you're shooting at an angle to try to basically make that nail go through at an angle through your piece of material, it was wanting to deflect. And I think that that is a product of just not having as much power as a pneumatic nailer does. Everything short of that toe nailing felt like it made a really solid impact and made good penetration through, like I said before, my trim, sheetrock, and into our studs. Shooting an inch and three quarter nail through solid white oak and these different types of material definitely proves to you that it is a viable option and the future is here as far as getting away from corded tools. All right, you guys, well, wrapping it up here because I don't want to just drag you out for a whole super long video. You know, this DeWalt 18 gauge brad nailer has definitely made a believer out of me that the cordless nailing tools are definitely a possible and viable option. Obviously, at $299, you're going to be far less expensive purchasing this than you are purchasing an air compressor, a hose, and a nailer in the pneumatic realm. And to be honest, not carrying my big compressor or even my small finish work compressor up and down flights of stairs, in and out of the trailer, up and into the truck bed. You guys, I can already say how many times I'm gonna be bringing this out on site alone and not going with my whole pneumatic setup. All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful if you're on your way to purchasing one of these cordless nailers. It definitely was a little bit out of my comfort zone when I was first looking at them. And I can tell you honestly, I'm really glad I did. Again, for the professionals, it may not be the only tool that you need to buy, but it is something that will replace you know, your standard use uh, and your general use of your pneumatic pin nailer. You guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. We really appreciate it, and we'd totally appreciate it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.